How do you treat pulmonary edema? Well, of course, the mainstay of treatment is descent. It sometimes surprises people that you don't really need to descend that far to begin treatment. Oftentimes with mild forms of mountain sickness, 500 to 1,000 feet, people will often start to feel a little better. But even with severe forms of mountain sickness, getting somebody down about 1,000 meters or about 3,000 feet often begins a pretty noticeable improvement. Keep in mind that the mainstay of treatment for high altitude pulmonary edema is either descent or oxygen. Now, you're not just using the oxygen because this person is low in oxygen. You're actually using the oxygen because oxygen is a very potent dilator of the pulmonary vasculature. It's funny, when I worked in Telluride, there were residents that would be very excited about treating pulmonary edema, and the patient would come in and they'd say, finally, I get to see a HAPE case. These are residents from New York. And what are we gonna do? And I'd say, well, we kinda just did it. And the patient would be lying on the gurney on oxygen. Well, it doesn't sound very spectacular, but just breathing oxygen helps to reduce the pulmonary hypertension. It oxygenates the patient. They're resting on the gurney, and they'll begin to resolve typically. The problem with oxygen, of course, is on any expedition, you're not going to have enough of it. So that's why descent is so important. Some of these drugs that we're talking about are important. And if you have access to a Gamoff bag, which is talked about in another segment, these can be temporizing and they can be life-saving.